Greetings from Paris. It's giving Usher, baby. It's giving sexy. <laughs> God really needs to forgive me because I really need to make an effort. to another weekly vlog as you can see i've already started packing for paris i'm going to paris tomorrow bright and early i'm leaving with Miriam, who you've met plenty of times on the vlog and our train is actually at seven o'clock in the morning so i am determined to finish up packing as much as possible because i'm heading to my friend's house for a games day by the time i get back i just want to like put in last minute things and go to bed get a good night's sleep head to the airport the train station tomorrow morning so if I haven't mentioned I'm going to Paris for the Usher show <laughs> I'm so excited I am so 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 happy that he decided to do this residency well it's not residency like I think he's doing four nights in Paris because I've been trying to go see him in Vegas for the past two years I say trying but I haven't really been seriously trying but when he announced that he was coming to Paris I was so 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 excited and apparently now he's announced that he is having a world tour at some point, maybe after the Super Bowl. I don't know, but this is clearly Usher's year, and I'm so, so excited for him. So I've made a list of the things that I want. If you guys don't know over here, I love packing. I have a whole series about packing and luggage. Check it out. I'm not doing a full-on pack with me for this particular trip because it's only one night. I'm taking a lot more stuff than I would typically take for one night because I'm hoping that I can film a video while I'm out there. We shall see, okay? So, I'm taking my light. I'm taking an LED light, the light stand, a tripod, and those are just the lights and my travel adapter. So this section I'm thinking will be camera equipment and potentially some beauty stuff. So like makeup, skincare, in this half of the suitcase. And then this half of the suitcase, I just want to be clothes, shoes, accessories. So it's a lot for a one night trip, but half of it is camera equipment okay so bear that in mind i'm not planning on doing any real shopping in paris so that's good the only thing i'm actually going to be bringing back um i don't mind like having a look around because paris i definitely want to go to the frankie shop though because i actually want to pick up a few things from there but i'm not planning on doing like a big designer shopping i just need to pick up my birkin i dropped it off back in january actually for the hermes spa so i'm finally going to pick it up in all fairness to them it's actually been ready since i want to say august maybe july i just haven't been to paris since then so first things first i've put out a couple of outfits on the bed because i really want to try on everything before i pack it just to make sure i'm not packing things that are not going to work so these i have three options for the usher concert I have one that I'm really hoping that works because that's what I really want to wear and I'm going to take a backup option and then I need to pick two day outfits, one to travel in, one to come back in. I've also just packed like pajamas and gym clothes, I don't know if I showed you that. The hotel that we're staying at is the same hotel I stayed at when I went to Paris for my mom's birthday last summer. It's the Marriott AC Hotel, which as far as Paris hotels go, they're a really decent size pretty good location and affordable so yeah that's what we're doing and yeah I'm really excited so let's just get these outfits on so we can see how they work and yeah hopefully we can just start putting things in the suitcase so this is dress number one this is actually sent to me by pretty little thing it is a leopard print <laughs> dress I kind of feel like it's a bit boring for the usher concert i mean i would wear it with some spanks so we would have a little bit more snatching happening around here 
but let me put it over here so you can actually see i've never actually tried this dress on since they sent it to me <laughs> and now i have it on i'm a little bit underwhelmed if i'm going to be very honest i don't think it really i don't know Maybe I'm being too harsh on myself. Fun fact, it's going to be very, very warm in Paris. I don't know, the more I look at it, the more I don't dislike it. If I was going to wear this, I would possibly wear it with... I think I would wear this with these shoes. And maybe even that. Is tortoise shell and leopard print too much to wear together? I'm not going to lie, like, I actually don't mind this. This is that... The bag kind of... The bag is kind of cool. Is it too much? It's not really giving anything because it's kind of like blending but I, i'm not mad at that i wish i had brown dark brown shoes okay this is option number one let's go option number two on this is option number two i feel really comfortable in this dress i got it last year well actually this year april from asos and i would wear it with these mules from zara and my new clutch bag from mango i really like this i think it's comfortable it's flattering the only con to this is that I have to tape my boobs, which is my least favorite thing to do, but I really like this dress. And this gives me Usher concert, don't you think? I really like this. Like, I didn't even think I would like this. And I felt like the leopard print one was a little too tight. This I can actually dance in. <laughs> so yeah, I think this is definitely going to get packed. And now I'm going to try on my third option, which was my first option before this. <laughs> Okay, so this is option number three, guys. This is the outfit that I had put together in my head to wear before. And now I'm really confused. I don't know what to wear. I really like this and I really like the dress outfit. So this, excuse me, this set is from Manier de Voix. If you guys haven't watched that vlog, remember that I actually tried to return this and they sent it back to me. So it's really nice. It's like a waistcoat detail. It has all of these pins that I haven't can't be bothered to do, do up right now. It has a really nice beige leather detail and the trousers are just matching with the leather detail. I've paired it with the nude versions of the Zara black pumps that I'm taking for the black dress. And this is my Bottega spaghetti bag. I really like this. I feel like both outfits work for the Usher concert. This is obviously more covered up a bit more conservative. It's just a different kind of vibe. I think it really just boils down to how I feel on the night. Like the other one, the dress gives me like girls night and I'm actually going in a group of girls. We're gonna get dinner first. It gives me more sexy, flirty girls night and this gives me more, I don't know, I like both outfits. They're just very different vibes. So I'm going to pack both. And I think what it'll boil down to is really how I feel on the day. I'm happy, I have two options. I learned that after my birthday, if you guys didn't watch my birthday vlog where I actually went to Paris, my birthday dress ended up popping, like literally on my way to the Moulin Rouge. So luckily I had a backup. So my going forward, anything of significant importance, if I'm not going to be like in my home country where all my clothes are, I'm packing two outfits. That's just, that's just what I've learned, okay? So every single thing that I've worn, if I can find links to it, I'll link it for you or something similar in my description box, so check it out. In terms of my actual day outfits, I'm not going to bother showing those to you. I'm just going to try those on, on for myself and just pack those as I go. And yeah, I think we've made really good progress. I feel like every single woman should own a pouch like this with a bunch of different bra solutions. I actually need to re-up on a couple of things, but I'll show you what I have. I have these chicken fillets just for an extra... You guys know lift sometimes you need that this is my boob tape i was able to find one that's like close to my complexion so i'll link this as well i can't remember where i got it from but i'll put a link i usually have nipple covers but i've just realized that i only have one which is kind of useless so i think i might go into primark because primark has these like bra solution sets so i might pick one up if I have enough time. And then I have this body and clothing tape. This is like double sticky. <laughs> That's just double sided tape so you can stick things down. And I don't really know what these are. I think these are just extra bra straps and this is a bra extender. It all came in that Primark set I was telling you guys about. I found what I was looking for guys. These are reusable nipple covers. Thank the Lord I did not need to go in to Primark. This is another bra solution. It's like one of those sticky bras that you're meant to be able to do this and like clip it, but it never ever works. 
it never ever works like if this would work i would prefer to do this than taping my boobs so let me take that we'll see if that works hi <laughs> my room literally looks like a bomb inside <laughs> is it but i finished filming the video that i wanted to film this is what i'm wearing so i'm wearing a whole my whole outfit is kai so i have this shirt and these trousers I just wanted to be comfortable and I really wanted to wear these trousers. So this is the outfit. I've already called my Uber, so I'm just going to put on some perfume really quickly and find some shoes to wear. I think I'm gonna go with how fatty. And I don't even know if it's okay to vlog, but I'll take you guys anyway. Hopefully I'll vlog whoever doesn't mind being on the vlog. <laughs> so I'm wearing how fatty. And honestly, I don't love this outfit, but I don't have a lot of time. So I'm just gonna have to go with it because I can't really stay too late because I have to come back and finish a vlog, finish packing and stuff. So what shoes would even go with this? Oh my gosh. Decisions, decisions. I might have to just wear this and make it like a monochromatic look. Okay, so if I'm going monochromatic, then I should wear my Celine bag. It's actually coming together nicely, this outfit. You would think I actually put more thought into it than I have. <laughs> okay, so I was able to film Thursday's video. It is going to be about things that are new in store. I really need to get a smaller black bag, brown bag rather. And I think I told you guys in last week's vlog that I made some banana bread to take. So I'm going to go grab that so I don't forget it. Looks like my Uber is already here. This is the final look, you guys. It's uh, definitely a rush job. I'm going to tuck this in properly <laughs> when I get there. These trousers are actually too big for me. Hmm. <laughs> That's the thing. Anyway, we'll talk about weight loss in, in, in the future. But yeah, this is the outfit. I hope you guys can see. If you can't see, apologies. Like everything is just very chaotic right now. Chicken spring rolls, yeah. beef samosas, sweet potato puree with braised oxtail, Ooh, um, plantain with beans, wow. and then some chicken tacos. It's amazing. Uh, Thank you so much. Enjoyment. Thank you. person to have on the vlog. It's like it's been, it's been a year since we've been away. Has so it been a year? It's been a year, Barcelona. Yeah. That's the last time you traveled. Yeah. Oh yeah. I don't know why I thought it was somewhere else, somewhere else we went. Sorry. I'm trying to search. How did we? To be honest, I haven't really traveled that much this year, so you might be right, yeah. So yeah guys we're here we made it. Very right excited to be back on the channel. Um, I'm very excited to have you. Shout out to the fans. Shout out to the fans. <laughs> please be serious. Okay guys, so we're on no, the tricky piece. I'm actually wearing those like spot darts things that I showed you guys. I don't know if they're working, but we shall see. Um, this is my first time flying. Why is this business premiere? Mm. 
Standard Premier. Yes, this is my first time flying Standard Premier, guys. Chairs are very fancy. You can't really see, but yeah, we're super excited. We're on a seven o'clock train. Yes. And uh, I don't have much else. It'll be a good time. Yeah. That's what it is. Before you guys are when we get to Paris. <laughs> Come on. This high's going down. You smell it. <laughs> yeah, you smell it. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys! So, greetings from Paris. Miriam and I are at this cafe, which I've actually was at last year, called the Heavenly, I think it's called. The Heaven Way. And um, we're just waiting for my room to be ready. Miriam's room's already ready. So while we're waiting, she's actually going like this because her room's already ready. <laughs> so while we're waiting, we decided to come out and have some lunch. I'm going to show you guys what's on the menu. I remember they had like poke bowls and bur the burger was really good the last time. It depends on how hungry you are, I guess. <laughs> you guys, Miriam just got this in insane Loewe puzzle bag. Is this the app? What color is this? Uh, What's so it called? Khaki, it is so beautiful, guys. It's in the small size. It's so, so pretty. So we're going to go look for a strap for it. So yeah, greetings from our bags. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so annoyed. Situations will arise in our lives, but I haven't even looked at myself today. <laughs> What a time! Hi! So, I have been on the go since 4am, hence why I haven't really checked in with you guys, but I'm officially in my room. Greetings from Paris! Oh my gosh, I have a balcony that I cannot access. Okay, so I think I told you guys already, but we're here at the AC Marriott Hotel. This is the same hotel that I stayed at when I was here with my mom for her birthday. I'll link that vlog if you haven't watched it. So I woke up at four o'clock in the morning, went to King's Cross to get the train, got into Paris, came straight to the hotel. We got caught in the worst traffic on our way here. And yeah, I think I told you guys already that my room wasn't ready. So we went to go get some lunch and now I'm officially in my room. It's a very standard room, to be very honest. There's not really much to show you in terms of a room tour. I'll just do a really quick pan because there's honestly like not much to show you guys. But this is the room. I stayed here before, but the last time I stayed here, I stayed here in a suite for my mom's birthday. But this is fine. We actually decided to stay here again because it is really close to where the Usher concert is. So... Yeah, this is it. There you go. And then this is the bathroom. Oh, I haven't put on the lights. Hold on. Where's my card? Okay. So yeah, with a nice full length mirror. And then this is the bathroom. Oh, I actually got a bathtub, oh wow. So, this is the room. Hello, this is what I'm wearing today. I just have this tank top from Because of Alice, my denim skirt from Zara. Honestly, I wanna try and find a big chunky belt today. We'll see how that goes. And I am fresh faced right now. I was going to freshen up a bit, but there's really not much of a point. We wanna try and go into the city. Oh, Miriam's here. We're going to go I was just fitting the vlog in. Hold on, let's go. Sorry, do you want to hold this? Thanks. Yeah. So we are about to go to Hermes. Are you taking a jacket? No. Okay. We're going to go to Hermes to pick up my bag. If you guys watched my last Paris vlog, I mentioned that I had left. One second. Okay, so the last time I was here, I dropped my bag off at Hermes, at the Hermes spa. So we're gonna go pick that up and then we're going to do some shopping for Miriam. I'm just gonna see what we can get up to in the next three hours. We need to come back and rest before the Asha concert. So at this point in time, let's just gonna see where the day takes us. You gotta be smart about it. Celebration with the guys. I sacrifice because I knew you could not sleep without it. Meanwhile, I It is 
is so lovely today. It's really hot. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, we are waiting in the after sale section. I just saw the prettiest bag. <laughs> we saw these mini kellys and ostrich and crocodile. I'm so jealous. I want a mini kelly. <laughs> Where would you buy a mini kelly for me? <laughs> I see like I see you like jokes. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, they've just gone to get the bag. We're gonna see. And we've just asked for some champagne because we're shameless. It's very fresh and I forgot to put on perfume, so perfect timing. So my bag's actually been ready since May, guys. Not since June. So it's been here for <laughs> five months. Chilling. Just chilling. It's been on vacation. Waiting for me. Oh dear, dear, dear. <laughs> I really wanted to look around, but we don't really have a lot of time. So we'll see how we get on. You need to get champagne or you get your straps. <laughs> Everything, do you have champagne? Yes, please. It's free. Do a video. First champagne of the trip. Because <laughs> you're getting your back. I'm so excited to see it. It's a 40. I mean, you're going to see it. Yeah. It's quite big. What color? Black. Nice new glasses on. Yay! So it's big. It was for the complete bag. Yes. They come finishing, cleaning. Okay. And or the swivel cut. Okay. It definitely looks so much better. So is it changed this part? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's your bubble inside and your accessories. Okay. Awesome. Welcome back home. I know, it's been such a long time. <laughs> is there anything that you can do to like keep it more structured? Uh, no, but the is um, like this. Yeah. But you can, uh, when you don't use it... Oh, they didn't do the bottom. Uh, normally, yes. Uh, it just... Uh, sometimes... So like the way it is on the bottom of the sheet, the way it was on the back, but it wasn't, it wouldn't wipe off. I can ask to wipe off any if you can do something on the part. Yes, please. I'm fine back. All right, thank you. It takes uh, 10 minutes, maybe. That's fine. That's fine. Thank you. I didn't want to record her, guys, so I'll probably show you the bag when we get back to the hotel. But it looks way nicer. I'll put up videos of what it looked like before. <laughs> Okay. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not recording you, don't worry. Take your time, I just okay. want to enjoy with you. I want to see how you do <laughs> You have a channel in YouTube or something? Yeah, yeah, well, I have a YouTube channel. I let you do on that side. Yeah, I feel shy now. Yeah. Did, did, this, did, you, did you like this one? That's the song. Uh, team, actually. Oh, team? Uh, small oh, is bigger. Do you have a small? Uh, small will be bigger. So, just to explain, the okay. size is, is strange. Yeah. So, yeah. they call Candy. Yeah. Mini. Yeah. Thin. Yeah. Small. Yeah. Large. Okay. So then you have the small. It's the small is bigger than this. Yeah, the small is this one. I have oh, only this one. Oh, that's the small. Yeah. So where's the medium? The medium is bigger than that, but I don't have it. No, I think this one is the medium. But yeah, I think this is the medium. Small is this one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, this one is the small. And all the color for the small will be this one. And then you put all the sizes outside. Like this, you can okay. figure out. Try this one? Yeah, I think this one. This one's that size. That one doesn't doesn't look. Let me take a picture for you. That is all the size I have for the jersey. Oh right, okay. Look at me. Yeah. This is a better fit. Let me try. This is the small. This is the small I tried on last time. It's big. Yeah, I don't know. 
caramel. No, it's like perfect size because I can probably fit everything in there. I can definitely fit this inside. I've seen someone's got that they fit a MacBook in it. Oh, it's a nice picture. Yeah. It's big. How many of them are you Like it's too big? I'm so conscious of like leaving my bag and everything around. Okay, so this is the small size. And this is the medium. I definitely think I would get the small. Yeah, I think that's small. Because this would fit all my stuff. This is like, it's too close to my size angle. Size? It's big. It actually does. I don't I think it's like as big as you're saying, but it, does, it is quite heavy. It is, that's what I'm saying. Like, there's nothing in it here, so when it is that size, there's a tendency to want to fall about. It is quite heavy here right now. This feels lighter. But then I feel like this would be better for like if you're wearing clothes, like chunky stuff. I think it's not This is the only color that they have in the small. That's so weird. This color is the color. This is the gray color that I saw that I liked. This is the team. I want to ask for a bag. Yeah. It was like that, but it was like a square. Mm -hmm. Do you have it? Like this one. This one. Like that it was a clutch bag. A clutch bag. Yeah. Yeah. Square? yeah. With there is a strap with it. No, let me show you. It has a handle. Uh huh. Uh, sorry, I should have got the. Oh, I think I know which one you mean. I saw it on TikTok. This one is 304,000. And then after the tax bag? Of course, let me count it for you. You don't like it? It's sold out. It's sold out. I, I knew you would this one. I really like it. I don't know why I always like sold out bags. <laughs> I apologize, I'm coming back. No, 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 you're fine. And I have a beautiful this story is... for the Jodie Foster. Oh. <laughs> so they name it because of Jodie Foster. One time she was hiding herself behind the Bottega bag, it was the Veneta. Okay. And because of that famous picture, Daniele just designed the Jodie. And named it because of Jodie Foster. Oh, wow. Okay. That's the bag she used was the same of the Jodie, but without the knots. Not the knot is one of our important codes yeah. in Bottega Veneta with the Intrade Chateau. So it's why. Yeah, and these bags come with a lifetime the warranty, Jody. right? Not the Jody. Oh, okay. Not the Jody. Uh, to make the lifetime warranty, we have. I thought there was a that yeah. side on their website that there was. Yes, of course, on that piece. Oh, this guy's busy. <laughs> oh, this one came with lifetime warranty. Yeah, I was going to say, I saw on your website it had it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. These sunglasses are actually so fun. I'm not going to lie, I don't hate them. I know, everyone's wearing them and I, I'm really confused. <laughs> Literally like, not a single thing we're making by any of those. Oh, this is so cool. What the hell? Oh, I didn't notice that. I think I want to try this one, the milk chocolate and coated coconut. We're going to do the milk chocolate and coated coconut, pistachio. Ooh, peanut butter sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> nice to see you guys here. <laughs> Back in the room. I forgot to show you that there's actually a separate toilet. Not that that's interesting or anything, but yeah. <laughs> I'm actually going to wait until I get back to London to show you guys the bag because I want to do a whole reveal video so that will be in its own video but just know that I can see the difference okay so after I picked up my bag from Hermes we went to Bottega 
and then we went to Loewe Lauderay and came back. And what is any Feyama Paris vlog without a macaroon taste test? I'm not gonna lie, I've already bitten one. <laughs> I got this one, the chocolate and coconut one. This tastes like a bounty. It's so, so good. Highly recommend. And then I got pistachio because pistachio is just, you kind of have to get pistachio, don't you? And then I got peanut butter. So let's try the peanut butter one. That one's really bad. I wouldn't get that one, guys. Mm -mm. Anyway, I need to take a nap because I'm so tired. Literally, like my energy is going like... <laughs> So I'll pick you guys up when I start getting ready for the Usher concert. Okay guys, I decided to go with the black dress. It's giving Usher, baby. It's giving sexy. <laughs> okay, let's put on some jewelry. Gosh, I did a horrible job taping my boobs. It's already unraveling. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, I think with all the earrings that I brought, this is probably gonna be the best bet. These or the hoops. These or these. I think I'm gonna go with the hoops. Ah. Yeah, hoops for sure. Guys, I completely overslept. I haven't even told you that part. I was supposed to wake up at 5.30 to start getting ready. Tell me why I woke up at 6.30. Such a mess. <laughs> we were supposed to be meeting up with some friends for drinks, but because I overslept, we're gonna hopefully do it after the concert now. Such a mess. I'm just trying to call an Uber and at the same time pack my bag. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm very, very stressed. I'm just gonna do a bunch of rings because obviously this dress has a high neck, so I cannot wear any necklaces or anything like that. So, rings. Shoes. I'm gonna go with these because these are comfortable. These are my mules from Zara. Some might argue that heels to a concert is ridiculous, but I just feel like life is too short. Life is too short. <laughs> if you're gonna do it, do it right. Body shimmer oil, essential. Get yourself a better one. I'm not gonna lie. This one from Zara is a bit of a struggle, but we're gonna make it work, okay? I actually need my friends to help me do my back. <laughs> The struggles of getting dressed alone. I wish I had brought a bracelet or something. I don't really have any. I didn't bring a jacket, no nothing. I, I really do not know who I think I am. I wish I did, but I do not know. Final thing is perfume. Rose Durabe by Giorgio Armani. I love this stuff. Grown in sexy vibes, okay. Let me step back so you can see the whole look. I'm literally just dousing myself, okay? So if Usher wants to serenade me, he'll think that I smell nice. That's the plan. <laughs> this is the bag that I'm going with. This bag is from Mango. It's super tiny, but it just about fits everything that I need. It's so cool. It has a really nice tortoiseshell detail. Okay. Okay, so 360 time, guys. This is the final look. I'm gonna keep on vlogging on my phone, so I'll see you guys at the concert. How are you? Miriam. <laughs>
day one fans of music, but maybe this is your first time ever coming to a Usher concert. Okay. Well, let's put a few things in order, okay? Of course. Well, when you come to a Usher concert, there's one rule. Don't leave your girl around me. So in essence, what I'm going to say is, if you're here with your girl, hold it tight. Show her love, because you might be her husband, you might be her boyfriend, you might be her fiance, but I just might be her boyfriend.
that need answering second of all Usher has a lot of good songs <laughs> I think even I forgot in the beginning he was like who's a fan of my way I was like yes who's a fan of 8701 yes who's a fan of confessions and I'm like oh. I forgot how many amazing albums he has <laughs> like here I stand like oh my gosh the set list was insane and even when we left we we're like he didn't do this he didn't do that he didn't like there's so many songs he, i even forgot about little freak with Nicki minaj like i forgot about that song and that used to be my jam like usher usher's that guy i'm sorry usher is that guy usher put some respect on his name i am so pumped for the super bowl performance now so pumped i had such a good time i'm so happy i wore this i feel like it was the perfect dress for the usher concert I was able to dance, I wasn't sweaty. Met up with a couple of my friends afterwards who were, we were meant to meet before, so we had drinks after, so everything worked out fine. And now I'm about to take off my makeup and head in the shower and go to bed because I am 
I need to sleep. <laughs> I need to sleep. <laughs> but I had such a great time. I had to give you guys the debrief. Like, Usher is him. Okay? Like, I honestly cannot think of a better male performer of our generation, in all honesty, than Usher. He dances, sings live, looks amazing. Like, what the hell? Okay? Only thing I will say, for my tall ladies out there, he's quite short. And he, like presents as short i've actually seen usher before i don't know if i've told you guys this i saw usher in nigeria like way back in the day and then i also saw him when i was scooting here it was top of the pops or something and he did my boo with alicia keys and he actually wasn't really nice fun story it was one of those things where like the performance was televised so while we were all in the audience before like you know they started like streaming it live he just was not engaging with the audience at all Whereas Alicia Keys was. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. Usher's definitely not 5'10. Like, whatever they're selling <laughs> online is not true. I had a great time back at a reasonable time, which are my favorite kind of nights between you and me. I like to get to bed at a decent time. <laughs> I'm going to shower, like I said, take off my makeup and jump in the bed. And we will pick up on the adventure of Paris. For the Eiffel Tower from here. <laughs> oh, it's kind of far, but it's over there. <laughs> and it's a rainy day in Paris. We're gonna get a quick workout in. Just warming up. And listening to Usher. <laughs> It actually says to do the circuit once, but I'm gonna do it again, because I don't really feel warm enough. So the first two exercises should actually be done with a resistance band, but I don't have one, so I'm just gonna do them. Baby, ooh, do it, you can't satisfy me. But I say girls, I'm in control. When I do these, I feel it in my knees. And I've actually discovered it's not actually my knee. There's like a, a muscle around my knee that feels a bit tight. So. Okay, let's start the workout. Dumbbell sumo deadlifts. I need to make space in front of a mirror so I can see my form. And they only have green apples in this gym. Like, I don't know, I don't understand. 12 kilos. Jumping squats! Oh my god! You guys have to get the Evolve You app. Like seriously, I'll link it down below. It is so good, it is so hard. Like I'm doing the beginner program right now. It's so good, because you never have to think about what you're gonna do in the gym. I've done the first superset, and now I'm on the second superset. Right there. The third, the, the third set I can do, but they don't have a leg press machine here, so I'm gonna see if there's an alternate to that, actually. They don't have barbells either. Dumbbell, hill, elevated goblet squat. I might just do the 
goblet squat. Woo, I'm sweating. Now baby, tell me what you wanna do with me. <laughs> this is the stage of my workout where I start to get happy because I can see the end of it. I only have two more exercises. One is four sets and one is three. So it's like we're coming to the end. So I'm doing bench dumbbell split squats. I'm gonna do fours in each hand and see how I feel. And it's 10 reps on each side. This might be tough on my knee. I'm not gonna go too deep. I'll push your hands up, bend your knees, we're surrounding a circle, get down with me. Come on, come on. In the 80s, MJ had everybody doing the moonwalk. Okay, for the last exercise, I need something to elevate my heels on, and there are no plates. This is a very small gym. This is the gym, by the way. I don't even think I showed it to you. Very small gym. So just a couple treadmills, a cross trainer, a couple bikes. Those are all the weights. They have a bench, a mat, and um, whatever this is. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this squat without my heels elevated because there's nothing I can elevate it on. I might just do a regular sumo squat. This doesn't feel good on my knee. Just gonna do some stretches and cool down. I think we've tried for today. <laughs> Workout was 62 minutes. This is my stats. Not bad. 583 calories. <laughs> so I usually just kind of like try and go as far down as I can. I really want to get on up in your head. So my knee feels a lot better now, so I just have to stretch it out. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that there was music playing here the whole time. Oh, I hope you guys can actually hear me over the music, but the plan now, we both have a late checkout, me and Miriam, in our separate rooms. So we have our rooms until 2. I have a meeting at 12.30 and it's about 10.15 now. So I think we're gonna go get some breakfast because my room's been waiting for me. I'm gonna go get some breakfast and then I'm gonna come back, get ready for the meeting, pack. I wanted to try and go to the Frankie shop. I don't know how realistic that is because it is quite far from where we are. 40 minute drive from here. And I don't even think it is on the way to the train station, is it? It's not, it's like completely out of the way. I don't want to go all the way to the Frankie shop and then they don't even have what I want. Like that's the annoying thing. <laughs> it's like going to be quite expensive to get there. And apparently there's a bed bug outbreak here in Paris. So um, Miriam and I, we're not getting the Metro while we're out here. We're just going to get Ubers everywhere. We stayed in a nice hotel and checked everything and I didn't see any bed bugs, but we're just trying to avoid any issues? When I get some food in me, I'll know what I want to do. I need some food, I need some coffee. Green apples are the worst, and I feel like all hotels have green apples. Like the last hotel we were at, which was in Lisbon, they had green apples too. Oh, I haven't even told you about these spot things. They're so good. Oh my God. If I forget to tell you when I get to the room. I had a really big spot coming through here, and I had another one coming through here. If I had to guess, I think it's because I haven't been washing my makeup brushes, but anyway. I put it on for the first time the night before I came to Paris. And as you can see, they're really not that easy to see. They're quite transparent. I left this one on overnight. Anyway, by the time I put them on, both of them were just like, I could feel them underneath, if that makes sense. And usually those kind of spots like take forever to come to the surface for me. The next day, this one already was going white, like it was already frosting. This one was like, not quite there yet but i took it off when i got here put a fresh one on when i got back last night by the time i put the fresh one on this one was already starting to frost this one is pretty much almost already flat so i'm gonna link them down below i'm so impressed like i've been seeing so many people wearing them in vlogs and stuff and i was like looks a bit gimmicky it works way better than any spot cream i've ever tried to use that's for sure so yeah let's go back to the gym or well, back to the room
I wanted to show you guys. It's kind of gross. Like it actually like sucks out the sun, whatever it is in the spot. And you can see it in the thing. Let's do this one together. It's a little painful to get off because it's like really stuck on the spot. I wish there was better lighting. You guys know how hotel rooms are, but. This stuff works. That's all I'm gonna say. This one is gonna be gone in a couple days. Like it's already dry. This one I think needs maybe a couple more days, but I'm just gonna let it breathe during the day and ease it overnight. But. <laughs> I keep saying Alexa pause, but I'm not at home. <laughs> oh gosh, guys. Um, oh my God, I almost left this here. Can you imagine? This is the receipt from my Hermes repair. Which low key authenticates my back because Hermes would not have repaired it if it wasn't authentic. This is my Birkin, fresh from the Hermes spa. Little sneak peek. I'm going to do a whole review on my experience and the quality of their work and the price and all of that. So stay tuned. I'm going to film that as soon as I get back home, by the grace of God, of course. This is the outfit of today. The outfit of today, that sounded funny. Honestly, like I'm, I'm not really trying to go anywhere after breakfast. I'm just gonna see what Miriam says. Oh, let me unplug the iron quickly. I've already started like my first round of packing up. So hopefully it shouldn't take too long. This is the huge bag <laughs> that my Hermes bag came in. They were actually gonna give me an Hermes shopping bag, but no need. Put that on the side. Everything that I've been doing is all bad. I got a chick on the side, a crib and a rat, I'm telling you so many lies. Ain't no good, it's all bad. And I just wanna confess it's been going on so long. Doing you so wrong. And I want you to know that everything that I've been doing is all bad. Oh my god, so I had to ask housekeeping for water and I couldn't remember what water was in French. So I was like, agua. <laughs> God really needs to forgive me because I really need to make an effort. Okay, this is my outfit, guys. Kate Cardigan. This jumpsuit is, or this body is from Zara. Finally wearing the Zara skirt. I have my Sam Edelman loafers. Chanel classic flap. And I only bought one perfume, so I'm wearing Rose de you know, you know who you are. we're checking out okay we're checking out yeah I know today was meant to be a different kind of day but I think I underestimated how much time things take I just finished off my meeting I finished packing and it's already two o'clock and I have to be out of the room in three minutes so we're gonna say goodbye to this lovely room you see what I mean yes Miriam oh, okay I thought you were housekeeping again they've been knocking on my door all day all of the bits that they gave me to stuff my Birkin, I have to leave it here, which is kind of annoying. But I think I have some back home, so I think I should be okay. Okay, that fits quite nicely. I was just trying to charge my phone for the last few minutes. <laughs> but let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, man. So I have so much editing to do. I haven't even started editing Thursday's video, and I have this vlog to get started on. Lord be an editor. Oh my God, one of my friends told me yesterday that they have AI tools to help with editing now. So you can just input your footage and the tool will like edit your video for you. Can you imagine if that becomes a thing? Oh my gosh, game changer. Because editing is hands down the most tedious part of content creation. And paying an editor is actually quite expensive. I, I've looked into it before. It's pretty expensive, so if I could invest in software to edit my video for me, wow, that would be amazing. Do a quick check, last sweep. Ugh. Don't see anything. Don't 
see any bed bugs. <laughs> yeah, I think we've got everything. I'm already done. The preliminary sweep. I bought a drink yesterday, so I might take this with me. I feel like I'm just giving myself a load. Just, just carrying, 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 carrying. <laughs> <laughs> Bathroom is clear. Okay. The name of the hotel that I'm staying at will be linked down below. I think it's great. I think it's great value for money as far as Paris hotels go. You get decent sized rooms. It's a Marriott, so a decent standard quality. And um, it's in a good location. Typically, it's pretty easy to get around from here, but I think because we found out that it was Paris week, which explains why there's been so much traffic getting around everywhere. But yeah, I would stay here again. I think it's very convenient. We just got to the train station. It's so pretty. actually going to end the vlog because I was editing this vlog on the tube while well, on the train back and realized that there's so much footage so yeah I might be able to get back on my schedule again um there a couple of things I wanted to talk about just to round the vlog out one of you guys asked me on Instagram to rank all of the concerts that I've been to this year because you guys know that like, this has been my year for concerts so I was thinking about it on the train back and if I had to rank them I would still say that my best concert this year was the Beyonce Renaissance World Tour. So that's first place. Second place, Usher. Usher was incredible. Third place for me would be Jill Scott. Fourth place for me would be SZA. And fifth place for me would be Ari Lennox. So that would be my ranking. I feel like if I knew what I know now, I would only have gone to the top three. I would only have gone to Jill Scott, Beyonce, and um, Usher. Like I wouldn't have even have gone to SZA and Ari Lennox personally, but that's just my personal opinion. I've vlogged all of those concerts. So if you want to see them for yourself, check out my vlog playlist. What else did I want to talk about in this vlog? I feel like I'm forgetting something. I really hope I am not. I'm just gonna quickly unpack get myself situated for work tomorrow, hopefully finish editing this vlog before I go to bed and start another one tomorrow. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you do. It really, really, really helps to support my channel. Leave a comment down below and let me know anything. Comments really help. Engaging with the video really helps. Share it if you enjoyed it. And I will catch you guys next Sunday with another weekly vlog. Bye.